Good morning, guys. We are in the hills of Shiloh this morning. We are pruning. We've got about 20 guys here from all over the world, and they have come for the one purpose, to bless and support the nation of Israel. As you guys know, with all the stuff happening in Israel right now, Israel needs uh, help and support more than ever. So these guys have come and they're uh, put, pouring out a labor of love for the land of Israel here. Uh, we have about 20 guys. Uh, they're about halfway through their two week trip here in Israel. So we're gonna go around and meet a couple of them, um, ask them why they came and uh, what is the most impactful thing they've experienced so far in the land. Let's go. I'm Will Bowman from Tampa, Florida. My name is Lars Nesse, and uh, I come from Norway. My name's Kai. I'm from uh, San Diego, California, United States. I think this is a good way for me to support Israel and the Jewish people. And uh, in this time, with all these uh, things going on, yeah. I think it's uh, very important that uh, we are here to support and to encourage the people. Well, this is my second trip, so uh, this trip here has been a little more personal. I've uh, come in, you know, some of the vines are, are pretty low to the ground physically, and to uh, understand that uh, not only am I pruning uh, plants, but I'm also being pruned. So. Pruning my heart and making it change my heart and change my mind. So I love pruning and I just love Israel. I, I work in the, the wine industry, mm -hmm. uh, doing viticulture, and wow. saw this missions trip, and it, I, it seemed really cool how it tied in ties into what I do for a living. I came here and not knowing that you know it, it, it it's not just um, pruning grapes. We're pruning we're having our lives pruned. When we pruned at Harbacha, it uh, was uh, impacting me to stay in the middle of the uh, desolation and the restoration. Uh, yeah. And for me, on the right side, on the restoration side. The love you see around this, this, these guys right here really impacted, uh, telling me the same thing the Lord was telling me. You know, I'm a little handicapped, but I'm good. Just being with these brothers right here was a great thing. I did not know how precious this land is, not just to, to God, but to also the Jewish people. What's been packed in me the most is that, uh, again, the, connect, the connection with the Creator, and uh, He's pruning my heart, and, and, uh, and just the... Uh, the value that I want to take back home as well and then look forward to my next trip. All right, guys, there you have it. You heard it from the volunteers themselves. Uh, we have a group of around 20 guys here, and they, they're, they've come to support the Jewish people. They have come to, to prune and to be pruned themselves. It's a time of uh, pruning the hearts, being here with other men of God uh, for one purpose, and that is to bless and serve the Jewish people. Guys, you've seen all the craziness happening in Israel right now, and uh, right now is now more than ever, I can say, is when the Jewish people need the support of people from all around the world, Christians to come, uh, to come to the land of Israel and to serve and say, we are here to stand, uh, to stand with you, to bless you, to support you. And uh, also, uh, not, not only that, you can come and experience the beautiful land of Israel. Right now is behind me, the Shiloh Valley. Look at that greenery, it's absolutely incredible. I'm standing right next to this amazing, beautiful almond tree in full bloom, white blossoms. So when you come, you also get to experience the beauty of the land of Israel. It's absolutely incredible. Guys, make sure to subscribe if you like these videos and help uh, get the, the message out to the world. Also, if you uh, hit that uh, like button, it helps put it out in the YouTube algorithm. We really appreciate that. Comment below if uh, you've ever been to Israel, if you've ever been to this place, or if you're wanting to come for one of our upcoming volunteer trips. Catch you later.